Hey, it's me, Mac, coming to you again with whatever game footage is on screen. And please forgive me for uploading too many update videos, but I have an excuse this time. It's Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. So what can I say that I haven't said before? Or maybe I have, but I've just forgotten. Well, if you wanted to contact me personally, you can use my the DeviantArt page. You can find the link on my uh, channel. What can I say to prolong this video? Well, maybe I should say what's been going on with my life. Just working on videos and attempts at internet art. This is meant to be a scary house. I saw First Man, the First Man on the Moon movie, a film one year off from the actual 50th anniversary of Neil Armstrong's Conquest. Kind of a missed opportunity to capitalize there. And if you want to see something very boring and depressing about one of man's greatest accomplishments, then you're probably going to want to see this because man it is dull. It makes everyone involved in this mission seem almost suicidal. I mean, compared to another space movie involving one of NASA's darkest moments, Apollo 13. Remember how it began? Tom Hanks and his family and friends are huddled around the television watching Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. In fact, what you remember most is the look on Tom Hanks' character's face. Excitement and wonder and somewhat fear at the same time. All the things that fucking first man should have been. They even skipped out on one of the most important parts, the planting of the flag. On more of a blessing note, I got to see a documentary called They Shall Not Grow Old. Made by Peter Jackson, who has remastered, and I really do mean remastered, old archive footage of World War I. Colorizing it and, and increasing the frame rate, almost making it look like a modern movie. It's definitely one of the best documentaries or just plain movies I've ever seen. And a great way to end the 100th anniversary of World War I. It would be nice to see what they can do with it. Maybe like a sequel where they show other sides of the other nations that fought in the war. Or maybe, and I know you're not supposed to tamper with the classics, but remaster the general or Nosferatu. I got to see Creed 2 and, and it's exactly what you think it's going to be. And it's good. It works as a sequel to Creed, a sequel to Rocky IV, and a good Father's Day movie. And then there's Alicia, Battle Angel. I haven't seen it, I just, um, oh boy, no Hollywood, just no, 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 or whoever it is. I'm looking forward to the next Games Done Quick, even though it's a little disappointing that they're not going to do it just before this Christmas. But I guess doing it on January is close enough. What else can I talk about? Um, I've still been listening to Vaporwave. It's the closest thing that feels ideas in me. Or fools me to think that. So what have I partaken in in my consumption of viewing of Japanese animation? Bleach. And what can I say about these new Kingdom Heart trailers? They look incredible. The Japanese always know how to nail down great video game presentation, which is something the West really needs to learn. For example, Mortal Kombat 11. It's not terrible by any means, but you see the trailer, you hear that music being put to these images that we have seen so many times. It just doesn't work. Well, at least it's not working anymore. And because I like to plug a channel with one of these videos, I would like to give a shout out to A Fox in Space. This incredibly impressive fan project of turning Star Fox into that Saturday morning cartoon that never existed. I hope this gives more attention to them and in terms gives them more support. Because so far they've only made one episode. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy Christmas or Hanukkah. And you'll hear my voice again in 2019. See ya.